Games have such a wide range of genres that can be difficult sometimes to compare the design of different games and say, what is it that makes one game good, yet another bad? For example, games like Far Cry 3 and South Park The Stick of Truth are generally considered good games and good examples of role-playing games, yet the strengths of these games are rarely compared to each other. But the definition of insanity is... Insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again, expecting shit to change. That is crazy. What if we just make friends instead? Now let's see how you like sitting through a whole presentation on global warming! So coming into making this documentary, it became difficult to pick the field of game design as a whole and compare what makes for good game design on a broad scale. That's why we decided to pick a singular example of a game with good game design and focus on Company of Heroes, a game that's generally regarded by critics as one of the best real-time strategy games around. One element of game design that's particularly excellent in Company Heroes is that it requires a huge amount of strategic thought to use the extremely well designed mechanics and to tune your tactics around these mechanics in order to destroy your opponents. These are all based on realism and World War II tactics, making for a very exciting game. The ability to flank your opponent, suppress them under heavy gunfire and lure them into ambushes and mines creates a brilliant balance and tension between the players. These are all very well designed and makes the game significantly more enjoyable. Along with these, the player is also given a choice of styles of play. This is achieved by the different abilities of each of the four factions. Each faction within the game has its advantages and disadvantages. The British plays well on defence and infantry, while the Wehrmacht works better with offence and vehicles. The USA picks a balance in the middle. Whichever way the player prefers to play the game, they can pick their factions accordingly. The factions are extremely well balanced, and the game relies on this mechanic to engage a large number of players, which it does really well. Along with this, the command tree gives the players a wide range of playstyle. Using experience points, you can choose a particular branch to specialise levelling up in. If the player prefers pushing up infantry, they can pick that branch and gain loads of special abilities to use in the battlefield. Air support and vehicles are other branches the player can level up in. Our defensive propaganda campaign is now ready. The inclusion of these two mechanics makes the game immensely more vibrant and draws a large spectrum of players to the game. A really good example of good game design. The sound design in Company of Heroes is astounding. From the intense march music to the realistic explosions and gunshots, the game brings the player into the gruesome environment of World War II. A clear example of the fantastic sound in Company of Heroes is the unit chatter. You won't realise what the units have to say unless you listen closely. We're getting cut to pieces! No, I will not take my clothes off if you keep clicking. Industrialization, that's how we're still in this war. And my balls. My big balls. For a real-time strategy, Company of Heroes really puts its love and immersion into the small detail. During the campaign, you can watch cinematic moments in real time. These cinematic moments are immersive and well executed thanks to the fantastic graphics, especially compared to other games that were set during World War II at the time, such as Medal of Honor and Call of Duty World at War. The graphics are impressive for a real-time strategy, with so much going on, on the screen. These graphics are complemented well by the audio, fluid animation and gameplay. In conclusion, after 20GB of footage recorded and 15 hours played in the last two weeks, we can confidently say that Company of Heroes is a prime example of good game design, particularly in the real-time strategy category. Not another time! <laughs>